Meet U.S. Virgin Islands Sailing Olympian Cy Thompson. Cy represented the Virgin Islands in the London Olympics in 2012 and will do so again in 2016 in Brazil. But his road for sailing gold began at the early age of four when his parents daringly put him in his first sailing boat by himself. My first memory growing up on the water would have to be my parents got me a, uh, I don't even know what it was, type of boat. It had a, it was kind of a combination of a few sorts of things. It had a windsurfing sail and then uh, we called it Flipper. It was kind of a little bathtub of a boat. But uh, we were up in St. John and in a little cove and they put me in it and just said figure it out and uh, you know I was rafted up to the mangroves crying and they just kind of left me there just you'll figure it out and that was kind of my first memory growing up on the water here and uh, I guess it taught me some good lessons of trying to figure it out on your own. Cy, a third generation sailing racer, began his career at the St. Thomas Yacht Club in their annual local kids regatta. The first competition I guess would have to be uh, the little Columbus Day regattas that we've had around here um, but my first decently sized competition would be the uh, Scotia Bank Regatta. I was five years old, um, Green Fleet still reaching around. I was fast, but I was going fast in all the wrong directions. Um, it was frustrating for my coaches at the time and my parents, but you know, it was, I guess the main importance was that I was having fun while I was doing it. And, uh, and from there, you know, I just kept at it and started to travel to the U.S. and by nine, I was a uh, U.S. champion in uh, White Fleet and ninth overall, so it was a pretty big accomplishment for myself. And I guess from there on, it was just, you know, you keep going, you know, you have a little bit of a talent, so let's see if we can make more of it. By the time Cy was a freshman in Antilles School, he and other young sailors began to forge their own paths in competitive racing, as their school didn't have a sailing team. High school in ninth grade, uh, there wasn't a sailing team. We didn't really know much about high school sailing. We just go out on the weekends and train in our respective Taylor Canfield and 420s, Thomas and I and Lasers. Um, and uh, my 10th, when I was in 10th grade, uh, they decided to make a sailing team, put it together. Um, Rob Upson was our coach and uh, he wasn't a sailor by any means, but he took on the job and he did a great job as well. Um, we, we had talent. Um, we went to Mallory and we, we did well. We, we did team racing, we made it there, but we didn't know anything, we were just fast. That's all, that's all we had for us. Um, we were learning and uh, you know, it's a progression and by the time we were seniors, we were able to win team race nationals and uh, fleet race nationals. So you know, along the way, it, it, was, it was good. It was a building process and I think it really got us all ready for college sailing in that kind of format. After graduating high school, Cy ended up at Roger Williams University in Bristol, Rhode Island, where his intro to college sailing wasn't as smooth as he had hoped. I went to Roger Williams and competed my freshman year. Didn't go very well. I was uh, just kind of felt out of place a bit. Uh, it was all very new to me coming from the Virgin Islands. Took a year off, did an Olympic campaign with Anthony Cotoon, the 49er. It didn't, uh, we just missed out on a spot. So I took off eight months from sailing completely, and I had never been more energized and motivated to go back to college and do some, uh, some serious college sailing and you know have some good results. So I went back my sophomore year, and uh, immediately we got off to a great start. We had uh, our captain and our senior and Matt Duggan sailing A division, and I was sailing B division, which was a great uh, intro kind of into the competitive side of college sailing. We had great success. I won a single-handed national championship in the Laser, the current boat that I'm sailing now for the Olympics. My senior year came, went back to single-handed nationals, was winning the regatta, ended up getting second to my training partner now, Charlie Buckingham. So I wasn't too upset, considering I'd be training with a good sailor. But uh, you know, it would have been nice to have uh, won one more national championship. Um, went into my coach's office and you know, gutted that I had lost. And I told her, I was like, Amanda, what do I do? I, I want to win another Nationals. And she said, you know, if you work, you know, extremely hard and, you know, don't leave anything on the table come Nationals, you're going to, um, you know, you're going to have a good chance. And uh, 
we were able to do that. We qualified for Team Race Nationals, first time in school history. Um, and I, you know, I guess there wasn't too much hope for us just because it was our first nationals uh, in team racing. But we had Alec Anderson and Sean Bouchard, all island boys. Alec Anderson from the BVI and Sean Bouchard from Bermuda. And uh, we just, we were gelling. We, we were all extremely fast and extremely talented. We knew what to do. We, we trained really hard um, into the first part of summer. Went to nationals and uh, we won it. So it was good to end on a, uh, a high note like that, which was uh, for a you know, pretty successful college sailing career. Shortly after graduating from college, Cy had a new grand task at hand, the 2012 London Olympics. The, uh, the road to London 2012 was short. Um, most people trained for four years. Unfortunately, the way my uh, college turned out, um, the timing, I graduated in May 2011 and literally took the next flight out to California and started training. Um, we did some training out in California, we did some in Miami, we did some Spain and England and uh, it was just over a year of training which is not usually what you want you know I was as ready as I could have been um, physically and you know just learning the whole circuit um, the way people race how it's raced but um, you know leading up to the games I I knew it wasn't enough but I think the experience that it, was to come was going to you know, be monumental for the uh, next four years leading up to 2016. As Saya preps for the 2016 Olympics, he has had a busy 2014, competing in countries like Mexico, Spain, Canada, and the continental US. So I spent two and a half months in California training with Charlie Buckingham and Andrew Lewis. And then I spent a month in Canada training with the Canadian Olympic team which was uh, extremely helpful just to keep me time in the boat and you know having some other guys motivating in the gym. So I think it was pretty good. I had a good event there. I managed to uh, come away with a win, which was a pretty good confidence booster um, leading up to our next regatta, which was the Worlds. Um, it's always good kind of going in on a high note and feeling confident. The, uh, as that being probably the pinnacle of my, uh, my last couple years, that was the the event that we were all shooting for. So I actually started off the event pretty poorly. It was uh, light and shifty, dug myself a big hole. Um, day two, I don't know what I did or what happened the night before, but I was able to kind of shake off that poor performance the previous day and just go out with a nothing to lose attitude and uh, managed to score a three and a 10 in a pretty tough field and uh, it gave me uh, it gave me that edge to get into the gold fleet and it just so happened that the gold fleet was only taking it only had 23 countries in it 24 countries in it and only 23 could qualify for this first time for the Olympics and Brazil was one of the countries in their host nation so they were out so that left you 23 countries and everyone kind of just almost kicked back and we're going you know so it was a Pretty cool feeling just to be able to get that done. And uh, now I'm, I'm back home and I was able to you know, come back and say I'm going to the Olympics. Sai recently solidified his spot in the 2016 Olympics in Brazil. He also recently represented the territory at the 2014 Central American and Caribbean Games in Mexico, taking home silver. Sai's pride and love for the VI is part of what fuels his ambition to continue to be a true ambassador. I wave my flag everywhere I go. I, I carry one at all times. I always try and have a VI in every logo that I design. Um, the shirt I'm wearing now has Virgin Islands on the back. Just, you know, just always trying to represent where I'm from and, you know, be proud of it.